come and have church, which we do all the time, right? Y'all enjoy church, right? Y'all enjoy church, but there's a level that God is calling life pavilion to. That level is a level of excellence. Tell your neighbor, excellence. And it starts with the head first, amen? amen? I have to operate in the spirit of excellence if I expect the people that are with me to operate in excellence. So January, I want to do a training in January. Honestly speaking, y'all, I'm flirting with the idea of doing face-to-face -face or I'm flirting with the idea of doing Zoom. I'm going to gather the lessons together and we're going to shoot this thing off in January. It is our leadership training. Say leadership training. LT. <laughs> our LT. Our LT. Our Life Pavilion LT. Mm -hmm. Leadership training. LT. Leadership training. Our Life Pavilion LT. I need everybody. Even the Board of Trustees. I need y'all on. Mothers. If you are a mother in the church, I need you on. I need all the leaders in this church because what God is getting ready to do, we cannot be lacking in any area of our church. Amen. Can I just talk for a minute before I preach? Is that okay? Amen. One of the things that I don't want to do is wait for people to get here and we don't know what to do when they get here. Amen. There's nothing in place. We had a conversation in and it's so true. You know, one of the things I try to do is I try to model myself after the next ministry in the sense of what they do. How did they get to this point? But you know what I do? I don't model people that are beginning. I model people that are already there. I model the churches like West Angeles. I model the churches like City of Refuge. I model the churches like Christian Chris Chris Center. I, I'll go there. I even model the white pastors. Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. Because there's something that they are doing that we're not doing. I pray, I said, God, you need to show me. Show me, show me, show me. I'm telling God every day, show me. I don't know how to do this. Show me. God's telling me it's right in front of your face, man. It's right in front of your face. A leader not only leads, but he cultivates the people that he is leading. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. Y'all miss it. I'm sitting up here telling God, show me. God's like, it's right in front of your face. It's right in front of your face. There are people, and I'm going to say it, I'm going to keep on saying it until the Lord takes me out of here. There are people in this church that are fully equipped, but they are afraid to step out and do something. I'm going to say that again because y'all missed that entire There are people in this ministry, you come fully equipped, but the problem is you are afraid to manifest what's inside of you. This church is depending on you to manifest what's inside Because you don't know what type of effect you're going to leave on this ministry and goes to come. Tell your neighbor, stop being scared. Stop. Don't be scared. This is the right place to tell your neighbor, we're in the right place to work. This is, this is the right place to go. This is the right place to work. Watch this. Watch this. Even if you make a mistake, who cares? Who cares? Well, I don't feel like I'm all the way there. Well, if you work and you'll get to that place. Yes, you will. Well, I feel like I'm not adequate. Well, if you practice, you'll get perfect at it. Well, I feel like I can do Well, if you continue to do it, you'll get better at it. The Bible says, don't despise small beginnings. What are you saying, Bishop? What I'm saying is this. It is time for us, and it is time for me as a leader, 
to pull what God has placed in every last one of you. Yeah. There is a treasure in every last one of you. Yeah. And you know what makes us so great? Everybody has an individual gift Amen. that when our gifts come together, we can be extremely powerful. Yeah. I may not be able to do it like you, but if we come together, we can take this neighborhood. Did we, if, oh, Jesus, help me today. Let me say this, and I'm going to preach. If we come together as different as we are, but we weren't as going to go, he said, you know, the prostitution will decease in this yeah, 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 yeah. The drug dealing will decease in this community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People will run from upstairs and across the street, running to this ministry. Let me help you real quick. Can I help you real quick? There are people who stand outside our church and stand right out there and they listen to what's going on. But can we put some action in behind what we're talking about? Teach and preach. Teach and preach. The Lord yes, used yes, yes. my wife to drop a word in my spirit. And that word is shift. Shift. I'll tell your neighbor, shift. 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 We're shifting yeah. from one place to another. But in order for us to shift from one place to another, we have to be in position to shift. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me help somebody out. And I'm going to preach. I'm sorry. This ain't even my message. Let me help you out. In order for the children of Israel to go and possess the land, they have to be in position to possess the land. What do you mean, Bishop? What I mean is they have to march around. They have to be in position. They have to march around the city. They have to position themselves in order for them to possess the land. Ladies and gentlemen, Life Pavilion, let me help you out today. It is now time for us, when we start January 2024, it is the year of position. If we're shifting, we have to position. Tell your neighbor, if we're shifting, we have to position. Not just with us, but even our church. There's some things in our church that we have to position ourselves in. So we can be right. Come on, come on. So tell your neighbor, that's the thing next year. So that's the thing next year. That's the thing. You're looking for a thing? Shifting into position. We're shifting into position. Tell your neighbor, we're shifting into position. We're shifting into our position. And not only are we shifting into our position, but God is going to pour every gift, every gift, every call, everything that is inside of you, it is going to be manifested this year. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is, not only is God going to manifest what's in you, oh Jesus, I thank you. Thank you. But everything that's around you that you expected God to do, he is going to manifest his blessings all over in your life. Everything that you put your hands to is going to manifest. But we got to do the work. Tell your neighbor, we got to do the work. Let's do the work. Come on and clap your hands. So listen, we're going to start it in January, our LT. We're going to start at LT, our Life Pavilion LT, our leadership training. And I'm going to go for a whole year. I want to do a whole year of this. I want to do a whole year of this. Maybe we can give a certificate. A certificate, once you complete, we'll take, well, we'll do it. We'll do it like a class, like a class. Can I bring some expertise in too, along with myself? Can I bring some expertise in along with myself? All right, we're going to do that. Amen? Amen. Anybody want to grow or anybody want to stay stagnant? Anybody want to stay where they are? I want to grow. I want to be better than I was last year. Amen? Amen. Amen. Everything about me is going to be better. Amen? Amen? Also, also, can we give Deacon Matt a hand? Give Deacon Matt. Let me tell you. Deacon, you don't talk the vision, man. First of all, he come in here dressing nice. going to make me pull out my six-piece suit. Listen, man, you're going to make me pull everything out of my wardrobe. He came down, look to my left here, look to my left. We did a tour drive. And guess what? He put it together. So guess what? Bring your toys. Let's, let's bring some toys. Let's put it in a torch box here. We want to bless them. There's already some gifts in here. 
Well, praise God. Mac Bratham, come on. Come on, y'all. Stand to your feet and get it, Mac. Come on, Mac. Mac, you are a blessing. Amen. So listen, bring your gifts. You can bring toys. You can bring all kind of stuff. Bring some gifts. Amen. Bring some toys. Bring some clothes. Chloe over there yelling. She wants you to bring her something. Bring, bring me something. No, no, no. Bring me something. You can even put gift card. Put a gift card or two in there or something. Let's, let's fill this. Tell your neighbor, let's fill this box up. Can, can we fill it all the way to the top here? It's so nice to be nice to somebody. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Thank you, honey. She, oh, come on, baby. She had a quick announcement. Oh, we're going to have to check. Okay. Sweetheart had an announcement. I think I done made the announcement. Some baby, I'm so sorry about that. She <laughs> I just want to say, just um, continue to pray for those who you don't see. Yes. Um, Candace, please pray for her. She's not well. That's why she's not here. As well, continue to pray for Mother Parker. She's still in the hospital. Those who are sick and shut in. Those, Hyla, she's still sick. If you would like to go by and see her, Hyla, she is. You can go visit her. You can see this. She welcomes visitors. You can see either... Um, myself and Bishop, or even Twala or Candace, um, they all, we all have that address. You guys can go by and see her. She would love to see our faces. Um, she's not physically capable to come to church, so we try to, you know, go and visit her and bring church to her. So she would love to see her faces if you guys want to see her. She's in the city of Paramount. Yeah, the city of Paramount. So please, during the holiday seasons, you know it's hard when you when you're locked up in a facility and you can't really go see family. So just continue to pray for that. And also, Mother Parker is at uh, USC, if I'm not mistaken. I'll get the address. Uh, she's also in a place where um, they're evaluating her, too. So please go see about them. Let's remember those that are sick and shut it in there. Pray for my cousin. She uh, is at West LA. Pray for her as well. Let's go by and see about them. They are people. We pray for our people. Matter of fact, let's bow our heads and pray for them. God, we thank you, Lord. You, we, you. we give you the glory, of God. We thank you for those, Lord, that are here and those that are not here, Father. Those that are sick, touch them now, God, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, God. In the name of Jesus, that as we pray and touch the name that you are doing something supernatural, you're doing a miracle, you're healing now in the mighty name of Jesus, and we pray, Amen. Clap your hands all over the building. Y'all ready for the word of the Lord? I don't want y'all, and now it's time. For the word of the Lord. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. yeah.